program is brought to you by the following sponsors. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax So you will not require our assistance, is that correct? Very well. In that case, there is nothing more to be said. As for your presence here, this room is ordinarily only accessible to those bound by a contract. You are fated to refine your power. You will most definitely require our assistance. Even Until we meet again, farewell. Most intriguing. Are you certain about this? Our domain is indivisible from the destiny of our guests. Nothing meaningless happens in this room. Which can only mean that the fate of our visitor just now will be... Margaret? Pardon. I spoke out of turn. We are only allowed to watch over and assist those guests who are bound by the terms of the contract. Indeed. <laughs> So, the young man Yu Narukami is tied to our recent guest's fate. I wonder what fate, or rather, encounter will await him. Yu Narukami. Now that's a guest who never ceases to amaze. <laughs> I had a hunch this was gonna happen. Well, your hunch isn't getting us anywhere. What are we supposed to do? There's not a single open seat. That's just how it goes at Juness during Golden Week. And on Children's Day at that. If it wasn't this busy, we'd be out of business by now. Today's Children's Day? Huh? I should have brought Nanako. That's what you're worried about? Yo, Senpai! I got us some seats! Ooh! Good job, Kanji! That's pretty impressive, Kanji. Especially for you! Damn it, Ted! Leave the especially for you part out next time! Alright! Break it up! No biting, guys! 
Let's go, Yukun. Right. Uh, so it's a great day out and, uh... Dude, I don't think this is the time for that. Well, how else should I start off? Look at the size of this crowd. I'd say I made the right call showing up like this. If I came in my usual costume, the little kids would be swarming my adorable bod. I'd be mobbed. Oh yes, I've seen how the children tear off your fur from time to time. Wow! Are you being nice to me, Yuki-chan? Has our love finally blossomed? Huh? Of course it hasn't. Shot down as always. It's because you never learn. <laughs> well, let's get down to business. We didn't get to talk much yesterday, after all. Don't worry about the crowd. Let's start the investigation team meeting anyway. Yeah. Though, we are missing two people. It's just not the same without our full roster of pretty girls. Oh, not only Risei-chan, but now chan couldn't be here either. Well, it's not like the other day, where we just lost contact with Risei. Mm-hmm. She seems really busy. She said she had work during the holidays, too. At least we got to talk to her yesterday. Yeah, Naruto-kun's job is keeping her busy, too. I guess it's the same old for them. Natoka knew things about what happened that not even we did. Apparently she knew about Mitsuru-san and her friends from the start. Thanks to her though, we got some good information. Well then, let's get everyone up to speed on what happened using that info. What was it that started it all? Midnight Channel again, I guess. I thought I was dreaming for a good chunk of it, so it's not really hitting me. the TV. And why? At first, I thought the culprit was jealous of my popularity and tried to break us friends up. Mm-hmm. But that wasn't it. Their goal was to disrupt our hearts by making us fight each other, and then steal our personas after they returned to being shadows. Naoto said as much, too. I don't know. Turning them back to shadows and stealing them. That doesn't sound like something just anyone could pull off. Maybe not. We know for certain that the culprit was using that method to try and gather powerful shadows. Gathering shadows, huh? That's definitely not something any normal person would do.
reminds me. How are things inside the TV? Still the same. It should go back to normal eventually. But the P1 Grand Prix had such an effect that it's still noisy there. Oh, but... Um... Huh? But what? Quit mumbling and just spit it out. It's hard to say for sure, but I sense these weird presences. They feel kind of like shadows, but not really. Weird presences? You mean, there's something strange in there? Um... I don't really know. What could it be? The culprit, maybe? Maybe, but maybe not. Huh? How would that make sense? The culprit wasn't a Persona user, right? Hmm. He did say that he used Labras because he couldn't enter the TV world himself. So... Wouldn't that mean this weird thing Ted's talking about can't be our bad guy? Or maybe the culprit can shove people into a TV even though he's not a Persona user. There's one more thing that bothers me. What is it? It's something Naoto said. So much we don't know. But no matter what the culprit was trying to do, if he was after us in the TV world, I doubt this case will wrap itself up. Mm hmm I agree. <gasps> oh, then does that mean... <laughs> Too bad for Mitsuru-san, but we're gonna ignore her request not to get involved. Ah, so the investigation team's back in business. Yep. I feel a little bad doing this to Mitsuru-san, but we can't just leave this be. We can fight too. And heck, this is our town, so it's practically our duty to do this. I'm in too. After all, I am Labby-chan's knight. Plus, I can't sit on the sidelines after seeing what this culprit did to my world. It had gotten so peaceful thanks to you guys. So it's decided. Mm-hmm. We have to return the favor of getting stuck with those strange epithets, too. <laughs> <laughs> 